if an artist takes time off, how should how would you suggest they reintroduce themselves to their fans, to the algorithms? Like, what is that thought process as you're trying to jump back into things? Schwan, you can you can kind of talk about from your perspective, and then and then Jack, you can chime in um, as well. We had a great conversation about this recently. I'm sure Schwan and I are going to say the same thing. I'll let Schwan go on this if you want to go. Uh, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm, I want to. I'll say some like unique little things and then I'll let you like do your thing with it but there's always a, a good uh benefit in reintroducing like what your brand is about who you like who you are and I know on a, like the TikTok end it's always good to like just explain like your whole like vibe to everyone again so like for Jack it's who he was as an artist what he's doing the team that's kind of what we're doing right now with his rollout but it can be a little tricky from platform to platform, but at the end of the day, if you're making content that you like really vibe with and you have a plan of like what you're going to come out with or like what you want your, your brand to be about, it, it kind of works out a little easier. Like we, we'll create schedules of different things, but half the time I get frustrated because I'm like, bro, I'm about to create like three weeks of stuff. Like that's my job today. And I know we're going to follow, <laughs> none. we're going to follow zero days of it. And it pisses me off, but I have to deal with that, you know? So it's yeah. it's tricky yeah it's tricky jack i want yeah. you to take over and then you know so you ask uh, on top of like what's it like coming back like how should someone come back so i guess one thing i'll clarify about my time away is like um as much as it was a hiatus from being public it was actually probably the hardest i've worked in a long time like for example like i picked up instrumental music that i i'd never done instrumental music in my life and in that six months i learned how to do literally the entirety of a song composition wise or like we were working on because the last time I was on TikTok, um, I was working 18, 19 hour days all day just talking to people on the app because I just wanted people to feel heard and feel loved and stuff. And I realized, like, I can't do this alone. So the entire six months on top of the other stuff I won't touch on yet, I'll touch on at a later date, the personal stuff. It was spent like. 12 hours a day in this basement learning about instruments. And then like five hours at least a day was spent on uh, finding Schwann, finding other people, finding an infrastructure, finding support, finding you, for example, right? That was a huge help to us. But how should an artist come back after a break, personal or not, vacation or not, rest or not? There's one big thing that I'll say, right? And it's that um, naturally, I think a lot of people come back from a break and they feel like, they feel like they've wronged people, you know, they come back with an apology letter or an apology moment or like a huge explanation or excuses. I, I get it on some level because when I was away, I was so anxious about being away. I wanted to apologize to people. But at the same time, what ultimately occurred to us is like, let's just act like we never went anywhere at all. These people followed us because they love what we do and we love them. Let's just come back with something really cool for them, bring some value to their lives. And then bit by bit, we'll tell them what happened, you know. Mm. And but so we haven't even started touching on that story publicly. We just uh, came back and did the coolest thing we've ever done. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something we don't we don't really talk about often. Like I, I met Jack and you would think like instantly, oh, one of the highest performing independent creators meets a really like established TikTok strategist. They're going to instantly just make things happen, right? Like content's going to go crazy. The first thing we did was unanimously agree. All right, we're just going to stop posting for indefinitely we're just going to take this break focus on what jack needs to do in terms of building up his artistry as a whole and you know like like he said there's so many different reasons that you do take the break but knowing that he could confidently take the break and come back the way that he did because of those like things that he just talked about it's i don't know a testament to him because not many artists will will come back and then just get right back into it they'll just like be sorry for being human you know, but they don't have anyone to tell them, like, it's okay to be tired. Like, it's okay to be, like, exhausted from, con like, you're, we're all human. No one's perfect. Like, we, we might smile all the time, but, like, I would, I wouldn't talk to people for, like, nine, ten days at a time. I would just be working with Jack and our team to, like, make this stuff happen. So, yeah, right. if you, if you really believe in what you're, uh, in what you're building, you can take a, a break, but just come back, like, ready to build. Don't be, don't be apologizing, because, People just want to see you shine. They're not, they're not feeling sorry. 